It's actually sick. Yo, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Let's go. Today, we are finally going to Whistler again. But first, we're going to do something special to my bike. Last year, I introduced you guys to my Rocky Mountain Maiden as a mullet or mixed wheel setup. I had a 27.5 wheel in the front and 26 inch wheel in the back. I told you that I was going to try full 26 inch setup later that year, but that never happened unfortunately. But now I finally got my front 26 inch wheel ready to go. If you've seen my big bike check video I put up recently, you would have seen this already, but it is the exact same wheel as the 27.5 with the same Saint Hub with center lock rotor and same Spank Spike Race 33 rim. The tire is different, it's a 2.6 Magic Mary because Maxxis does not make the Asagai in 26 inch. They're both set up tubeless and I'm curious to see the difference in weight. So 26 inch without the rotor, 5.07 pounds, 2.3 kilograms. And measuring the 27.5 wheel without rotor, it's actually barely lighter. I don't understand how that works. I mean, there's supposed to be more material in the bigger wheel. They are different tires, I guess, sure. It's kind of random. Now, to keep the geometry the same when swapping wheel sizes on the front, Rocky Mountain provides you with this cup to screw into the bottom of the head tube. So I grease up everything, I screw in the cup, I clean up the bearing and I stick that up in there. And the tricky part, having only two arms makes this really annoying, it's always better to do this with friends. But I finally got it together again and now I basically have a longer head tube. I don't have room for those spacers under the crown anymore. The lower crown was never removed, so the travel of course is all the same. It's just that that upper crown had to be raised up. So with the axle getting lowered by about three quarters of an inch, it's offset with the cup. And in theory, the frame is in the same position as it was before, keeping the geometry exactly the same. But I guess the stack height is a bit lower because the upper crown is now all the way against that headset. But I can change that a bit later on if I want. So my honest thoughts, I think that this is gonna feel better on flow trails. So why don't we take this bike to Whistler and actually test that out. Hey guys, so I'm here at Whistler with my friend Wesley. We've got my Maiden full 26 inch setup. So basically I'm gonna be riding a lot of flow trails today. That's gonna be awesome on the 26 inch wheels. Also because I'm still trying to make sure that my body can handle it with my elbow, got my elbow brace on there. Just try not to go too crazy. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to uh, finally riding my first bike park day. It's gonna be tons of fun, so let's get started. Sickness. All right, first bike park run of the year. I'm pretty hyped. Just taking it a little bit chill, just to really see how my body does, making sure that uh, I don't do anything stupid. Just warming up here on Crank It Up. I find it's a good warm up trail. I just ride this once, and then I don't really need to ride it the rest of the day. Right on, going good. Ooh, these berms are actually pretty nice. So my goal is to ride A-line by the end of the day and those would be the biggest jumps I would have hit since my elbow injury. And we're just gonna make sure that my body's up for the task and honestly, I think it'll work out. Like every dry corner, I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> well, I gotta be honest with you, the dry corners are sketch. They are. Let's see how Ninja Cougar goes. Nice and easy. Let's get that flow, flowy tech really. <laughs> it's dry. Oh man. Ooh. These berms are really nice, actually. Considering how dry it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, that scared me. All right, I'm feeling more warmed up now. Let's go up the Garbanzo chair. I love going to the upper part of the mountain. It's so beautiful up here, but why don't we ride some freight train? I uh, slow down. Yeah. 
do some great train. <laughs> Feeling good. Terrified or wind? Yeah, it is a little windy. That's annoying. You said you can tell the difference between uh, the wind hitting your 26 inch or 27.5 tires? Yeah. Um, there's just slight difference. Yeah. It feels, I can almost feel the wheels come out a bit more on me. Yeah. 26 uh, just helps a little bit with that. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Woo, sick. Whoa, yo. All right. <laughs> That's kind of beat up. Ooh. That was a little hectic. Yeah, I felt, felt a little bad for the bike, but another day, another sand. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! All right! All right guys, me and Wesley have been having a ton of fun so far here at Whistler, shredding our bikes. We know we haven't been riding totally our best, but I know of a way of riding the most insane trails, doing the most insane trick combos. Of course, what I'm talking about is Shred 2, Shred 2 featuring Sam, Sam Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Let's go! That's right, Shred 2 has just been released on the PlayStation 4 and 5. It's designed by a mountain biker for mountain bikers, and it's even available on lots of other platforms too. It's got over 40 levels to explore, including downhill, slope style, and street. You'll never get bored, and I've been really enjoying this game. I love the absolutely insane trick combos you can do in this game. But it does take some practice. Check it out by clicking the link below. And thank you Shred2 for sponsoring today's video. All right, now let's get back to some more shredding the Whistler bike park. Not gonna go crazy, not today. Yo. Okay, that was kind of sketch. So what I'm finding is landing these jumps actually feels perfectly fine. The braking bumps, however, that's a different story. So that means my body's feeling pretty good for trying A-line later on. All right, well, I've had enough of these braking bumps. Let's try something new and a bit different. Hey guys, so we're going up the Garbanzo run here. We're gonna go to Creekside and we're gonna ride some new trails that we haven't ridden before. Some fun blue flow trails, maybe blue flowy tech. It's gonna be super fun. Let's check it out. 
normally we ride seven year war that's a lot of fun but since we're doing a creek side lap we're gonna try something new i've never ridden midgard yet it's a blue flow trail sounds like it'll be pretty fun all right i'm good to go midgard all right sweet I love it. It's pretty sick already. Oh yeah, I love the more single track kind of trails. It's just beautiful. They also feel great on the 26 inch. Yo! So beautiful out here. That was fun. Yeah, what's awesome is just, it's just like less bike parky, which I just think is so cool. <laughs> Yo, sick. These berms are really nice. I'm liking this. Whoa, what? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's pretty sick. That's so sick. That's so cool. I took too much air to my fork. It's like too soft, but I can raise the compression up. That was so sick. Ooh, that's pretty sick. Yo. I like some of these corners. Trail's like getting better as it goes down. <laughs> Dude, I love it. Yeah, these trails just never end. Oh no, this is the end. Oh wow, now we're, now we're just starting. Yeah, yeah, we're just starting Creekside now. <laughs> That's fun though, I like that. There was a lot of humps I wanted to just like go quicker. Yeah. Hop off it, I realized like I, I thought it would have crashed. Yeah, kind of, yeah. I've been feeling good on my bike though. Cause like one factor for how crappy I was riding earlier was just the being rusty. Just needing warm up. Let's do it. All right, South Park. Nice fast flow. Woo. <laughs> awesome! I rode this part of Creekside. It was like two years ago. Still in really good shape. Let's uh, hit up Earth Circus to finish the Creekside run. So then something funny happens with my Hero 8. The video just freezes, the audio keeps recording, but now this clip is totally useless and it actually kept doing this for the rest of the whole trail. It might have something to do with me using a third party battery as opposed to a GoPro battery, because otherwise I don't know if this has ever happened before. But that's okay, you've seen one berm, you've seen them all. Why don't we go to A-Line? Finally, I'm feeling, you know what? We can do it, let's check this out. Okay, new part of A-Line. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do it up. Yeah, it's Squamish. 
Okay, let's see how this goes. Cool, sweet. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right. It's actually sick. Yo, buddy. Woo. Yo, I, uh, I overshot that one. Oh, really? Yeah. It feels so good. Yeah, I went far. This is my first whip today. Yeah. Okay. I'm not doing any whips today. I pedaled into it though. That felt sick though. Felt really sick. <laughs> Are you ready for some jumps? Yeah. This is riding nice and smooth. Just nice and smooth. Let's ride a line. This is nice and smooth. Look at this. This is so minty. Yo. <laughs> okay, A-line's in really nice shape. That's sick. Yeah, I know I'm not giving much style. I'm just uh, so rusty from not properly riding in a while. I'm just stoked to be riding these jumps, that's all. So smooth. Dude, this is so good. That was great. That was so smooth. What the heck? Just for the sake of not pushing my elbow and my body too far yet, I just decided not to finish A-line. So I'm just finishing off on some blues here. But I had a great time today. This was such an awesome day. Big success. And just for the record, I will be keeping this 26 inch front wheel on this bike at least for the rest of the year. And that way we can get some really good experience with how this all feels and truly ride my best with this setup since obviously today I was not riding my best. It still does take a bit of time to get to 100% full healing. I'm definitely keeping my front 27.5 wheel though, just for those times when I may wanna try the mullet again. So maybe over lots of time, I'll truly be able to feel the difference and feel the advantages and disadvantages of either setup. And by the way, the Family Cross is actually quite fun this year. And I love that they have a dual slalom course that everyone can ride on. It's so much fun. I think they should always have this yeah. from now on. One, two, two three. three. Oh crap. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> well, I'd say my summer is finally getting started, and I couldn't be more excited. I've got super cool plans for a bike build I'm working on now. I want to go out traveling a bit more around BC. If you want to see early and extended cuts of videos like this, check out my Patreon page. They're amazing sponsors on my channel. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. Me and Wesley have been shredding our bikes, having a lot of fun here at Wessler. Wessler. Wesleyer. <laughs> Wessler! <laughs> Shred 2 featuring Sam Pilgrim. To the sky! Shred 2 featuring Sam, Sam Pilgrim. Pilgrim! To the sky! Okay, well, that, that was, was out of sync. That was not in sync.